My name is Auntie Flo and I'm here today to give you a message from the universe. I run AuntieFlo.com and have done for 15 years. I've been a medium since I was about 30. This is, however, a psychic reading rather than a mediumship reading. I can do a mediumship reading down the road. If you'd like that, pop it in the comments. However, today we're on the path of understanding what the universe really wants to say to you right now. Welcome to your pick a card reading and here this is a reading on request from my readers over auntieflow.com which is my psychic website so if you haven't visited that please go and visit that um, where you'll find loads of spiritual information. So this is a general reading so we're going to do a general reading today about what you need to know in your life right now. So we have three packs here and I've specifically chosen quartz as a stone. One of these packs will completely resonate with you. So we've got pack one, which as you can see in the light and it's getting a bit dark in here now. This is a beautiful, beautiful bar of very rough quartz. It kind of feels a little bit rough on the outside. However, you can see the light through this. So this is pack one. Pack two, we've got a slightly rougher quartz there. And again, you can just see the candlelight glistening off this quartz. It has some rough edges at the back and has two points there. So that's pack two. And finally, we have this quartz, which again is quite pointed and is absolutely magnificent, to be honest. You must say. Okay. Okay, so we have pack one here, pack two and pack three. So just spend a few minutes, take a deep breath, and one of these packs will suddenly jump out at you. And after, after you have decided which pack you would like, then if you can go to my description, I've actually put the time stamps for each pack. So you can choose a pack and go straight to the interpretation. So we have pack one, pack two and pack three. Please make your choice now and then go to my description. Welcome pack one, here is your reading. So these are the cards, there are my own cards from my website auntieflow.com and I have shuffled the deck. I've got three packs of cards actually which I've shuffled three packs of my own cards. I've picked them blind, so I'm not sure what they actually are yet in order to understand the spiritual context. Okay, before we quickly go into the cards, I just wanted to spend a few moments discussing the quartz that you picked. Now, obviously, this is quite a long quartz, and it can signify from a spiritual perspective that you found your goals quite long-winded, it's as if, as I touch the courts, I can get that feeling of impatientness. So if there's something in regards to your career, it might be that you've worked hard to get to where you've got to. And that might not necessarily mean from a monetary perspective. It could be that it's very difficult in terms of navigating the people when it comes to work. I kind of get that feeling. Alternatively, it could mean that in love, there's been a long road, a long, long road that you've taken. Okay, so let's try and find out a bit more in regards to your reading. So, here's the cards that you picked. So for the past, we've got the Four of Wands. I'm doing the traditional um, horseshoe spread here because I like to do traditional spreads because it kind of helps me understand a little bit around you as a person it's quite a kind of quick spread to do as well as that it's commercially available so that you can do it at home so I do like to use commercially available spreads as opposed to those that are just made up by the spiritual practitioner okay so present oh that's good we've got the lovers that's a beautiful card to pull for your present card three 
which is the future in general terms, we've got the High Priestess. Card four, and this is your advice, which is the sun. So this is a, advice in your life in order to improve your life in some aspect. Elements going around you at the moment, your environmental factors, the present conditions. We've got the six of wands, which is quite a lovely card to get and indicates, you know, there's been a bit of celebration in terms of your life and we'll talk about that in a little while blockages in your way we have a knight we have a male in your way under the age of 35 with dark hair normally darkish hair so that is in your blockage position and then finally we've got the outcome which is the page of wands which i'll discuss in a little while in terms of what this means as an outcome card Okay, so let's, let's start with pulling some charms in regards to these cards so that I can read the cards along with your charms to get more clarity. As soon as I started this reading, in terms of when I started pulling out the cards in the horseshoe spread, I kind of got a feeling that... I want to try and connect with you on a vibrational level. So I get a feeling that you visited a lake or there's a lake nearby you and I hope you can take that. I also see, uh, I also see some fish. I can see fish. This, this does not necessarily mean you're fishing. It could be that you've eaten fish. It could be that you're looking for love. Um, I can see fish. You could have looked at or had some kind of fish, even if it's a tuna sandwich. I hope that resonates with you. And I can see a lake, I can see trees, I can see a field. I can see, I can see a white dog or a dog with white elements on the dog that might resonate with some people. And I also see sunflowers or yellow daisies. So perhaps that's in the summertime. I can also feel the presence of many, 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 many spiritual, spiritual guides. I can see ancestors, grandmas. I get the feeling I can see a bib. I can see a small bib with sort of braiding round the bib itself, it could have been your bib, it could be a bib of a child. It's white and it has braiding round. Okay, so if any more spiritual images come into my mind as I'm doing this spread, I will of course share those with you. So let's pick a charm. Let's pick a charm. Let's pick a charm. So we're looking at the past. Oh, we've actually just pulled one card there, which is actually a charm card, which is the seven of hearts. OK, so we'll talk about that in a little while. Present. We've got a key. We've got lovers and the key, the key to unlocking your heart. And then the future in general terms, we've got the high priestess. We've got the two of diamonds. Now we're looking at your actions. Let's pop that there for a moment while I pull. So we've got your actions. Peace. That's quite lovely to pull, isn't it? Your actions is peace. We've also got the, we've got another key that's fallen on the lovers. Now that's interesting, isn't it? So we've got two keys, two keys to your heart. We've also got the train. Wow, that very rarely gets pulled out. The train has popped on the high priestess there. So quickly, let's do this. Let's pull another three. General terms, the current environment, 
general terms, we have a car. Now, strangely, strangely, I forgot to say this, but when I was um, looking at the cards previously, I did see a car, black car, dark coloured car. So, if you're looking at getting a new car or, you're, or you have problems with your car at the moment, then obviously I'm connecting with you. Blockages, give me... Give me a charm for blockages. Oh, we've got a cat. We've got the cat for blockages. And please give me a charm for the future for this viewer right now. My lovelies. What is that? Oh, we've got the tortoise. We've got the tortoise charm. Right. Okay. Loads have fallen out here. I'm going to pop those to the side, to be honest. We're going to have a, maybe a little, there's too many to go through, but we'll have a little quick look at all of those charms later on. See if any of them resonate. We've also got an E that's popped out. So maybe you have an E in your name or a name of somebody close to you. Again, we've got another car that's fallen out. So there's obviously some something around your car at the moment, if that means anything. We've pulled another cat charm. So we've got two cats, which represents spirit. We've also got the high priestess, which represents spirit. And we've also got the journey. Okay, so from this, baby boy as well. Um, a clock, time. And we've got a beautiful ballerina. You probably can't see that because it's getting a bit dark in here now. But a ballerina picture there of grace and beauty. A teddy bear. You need a hug. Uh, dartboard, you're on target in your life. So that's really positive. Okay, so I might have to put the light on in a minute because it is getting quite dark in here. I might go and do that in a moment. I might do that now, actually. Okay, so I've actually now pulled a charm for each of these cards. So let's start now, my lovely number ones. Let's start with your reading. So first of all, you have pulled, interestingly, you've pulled the Four of Wands. Okay, so the Four of Wands is all about freeing yourself from circumstances in life that just don't suit you. So this is basically how you're feeling at the moment. I hope that resonates for you. And fours are all about being stable, being stable in life. So this could be that you're trying to free yourself from societies or work career issues and try and really get stability in your life. So in general, four, fours indicate the manifestation of a business idea along with a foundation of space where your elements and your things and your goals can all grow in life. It's also a card of what I would call celebration. If you can actually see here, we've got the children and we've got the waters which are a little bit rough and that beautiful castle in the background. So it's all about possession and ownership due to, you know, if we see the castle and how big it is and how grand it is. This is also a card whereby a thing, it could be that you've got young children or a family because there's children in the card. If you don't have children, it can represent your inner child is feeling content. This card is also very connected to the family, it's connected to home life. And it also, number four, the four of wands also relate to the emperor in the tarot deck which is about employment and planning the family and children in terms of the career must be relevant to you and your future in order to build a home, okay? So I hope that kind of connects with you, that you've been on this sort of goal in order to build this home and build this environment that you want. And I will also say that the four, uh, the fours are about not only being stable, but also moving on rather than stay, staying in a sort of stagnant position in life. 
So it's making time for yourself. It's making sure that you have everything that you need and your family has everything they need. And this is about you trying to create some sort of stability in your life. If things have been unstable, it could be a card that's come out because it represents that is really what you want. You want commitment, you want stability, you want a family, you want happiness. If you've got that, great. If you haven't got that, then that's been a goal that you've wanted to achieve. Also, we've got to look at the wands here. So we've got lots of wands and wands are all about movement. They're all about the energy towards going for something. Perhaps you're, you have a passion, you have a passion at work and it's directed, directed towards achieving that goal. So for example, say you're really passionate about art or artwork. You might start with an idea, i.e. I might, I don't know, I might build my own gallery, for example. You will then decide how you're going to do that, which is a two of wands. And then, for example, you start sending those energies out, which is the three of wands. And then finally, when the four of wands comes, it means the door's open for you to actually fulfill your goal. So if you think about the card in that context is we're at the point now where or we have been recently in the past doors have started to open to really think about what you want and what direction you would like in life there's also a message here that this is this is a stage of your life where you need to enjoy it and be happy there has been some happiness around um work situation the work situation however you have also drawn here or i have also drawn on your behalf the seven of hearts which represents walking away significantly walking away from love so it might be that even if you haven't walked away and that you're in a long-term relationship right now perhaps you don't feel that that relationship is fulfilling this this whole family environment, or it's had its ups and downs. And don't we all, we all have our ups and downs in life. But all in all, that is a very positive card to draw for your past. So let's now move on to your present. Okay, so the first thing I'm just gonna quickly read here is I pulled these two amazing charms. Um, one of them I pulled and the other sort of fell onto it. So again, the two keys here is about two keys to your heart. It also indicates, if you can see, one smaller, one bigger. So this is male and female energy here. So this is about a partnership. It could be that you're in love, you're happily married, there's no issues there. I'm just going to ask here for the single uh, people out there, the single viewers that are watching this. What does this lovers mean for those people that are single that are not in a committed relationship? Okay, so for both of you, um, there are children involved now or in the future. So it might be that you've perhaps found or you're very soon going to find, i.e. immediately, like in the next few weeks, as we're talking about your present, your soulmate, and it could indicate that you do have children, if you've got children. Um, this could indicate your love for your children, but it's, to me, really strikes out that there's some sort of partnership going on here. It's some sort of soul connection that you've got at the moment, especially with the keys, and it, it just strikes me at the minute that's quite balanced. There might be ups and downs in this relationship that you have, or you want to have with somebody, but to me, that just looks like things are totally settled, which is really, really positive. I'll be honest with you, this spread is really positive. And if it wasn't, I would tell you, I am really taken aback that not only have you got on your future in general terms, my carriage, but you've also got the train, which fell out on its own. Now, this is very interesting. So this charm basically corresponds to our life journey. And normally I've got quite a lot of different carriages in there with different colours and they all represent part of our journey on life. And I do see life a bit like a train. We all chug along and people get on, people get off. We stop at different stops, but we keep on going. 
So think of life like a journey from the start to finish. And on the way, people get on your train, get off your train, but you will still keep going and you will still keep following your journey. We also have paired with the train, the High Priestess, which to me basically indicates, oh, that's just popped up. Oh, I didn't even know that I drew that, the two of, two of, I didn't know I drew that. That's the two of diamonds. Okay, so we've got the High Priestess and the two of diamonds. High Priestess to me shouts out, spiritual, you are spiritual. And I don't know if you know that right now. I mean, I think you must be spiritual to some degree because you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You wouldn't be um, coming to my website. So one can just take maybe, one can just say that, you know, you are likely to be spiritual. This is a pretty spiritual connection here. Now, when this is drawn, typically it represents your inner wisdom, your inner intuition. And also, because it is in the future in general terms, as opposed to in the past and present, it can suggest that you're going to seek some kind of reflection. You're going to be looking at life, perhaps wanting more. And the other thing about the High Priestess is all about secrets. It could be that there is secrets around you or you are keeping secrets. So just try and pay very close attention to other people. Drawing the High Priestess also means there's something deep, 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 deep down that perhaps you don't want to deal with. And if you are spiritual, it could represent the divine connection with spirit. And it also is a lovely card because it's quite maternal. It's quite a maternal card to get. And it is actually my favourite card of the whole deck. She presents to me the knowing, the spiritual direction, the inner wisdom, and it's really a card of mystery. It's about secrets and balancing all our qualities in life. Having this card in the reading, it indicates that you are or you have that intuition, that gut feeling in your stomach when things are right and things are wrong. So this card here in your general future is all about making sure that you listen deep inside because you actually know what to do. It's also a card whereby you're trying to keep a hidden view, a hidden view from the, from the world. You do not want to show your true feelings. So it's definitely a card about intuition, it's about activity, it's about inward, outward, and it's about moving forward, moving away from these pillars that you can see in my deck there. So that is a really fantastic card to draw. It means you're on the right journey of life. You've got the train, you're on the right train journey. You're, you've actually done a lot in your life so far. You might be young. You might have done many, many things in the past. Um, you might have focused on, you know, maybe you might have looked at various careers, uniformed careers. You might have chosen something that really resonates with you. I also get those viewers that are watching that aren't quite happy in their careers, are looking to change or retrain especially if you work in a store or that aspect, I can see that there's going to be education or education in the future for those of you that work in the retail sector. In the medical sector, I can see that you have sore feet. I don't know why that's suddenly come. But if you are um, working in the medical sector, you, you know, you'll find it difficult on your feet at the moment. Perhaps you've got problems with your feet. So... I'm going to try and spirit. I'm going to try and focus on these cards for a minute and then any messages come through at the end, please. Okay, so um, let's move forward with this. In terms of names, I've got Paul, Peter, Roland, Stephen, Jeremy, Mark. If those names mean anything to you. I've got Jason, Christopher, Amy, Melissa, Jennifer. Those might be people that you know, Jenny. They might be people you know. They might be 
people that you're connected with. I'm also getting a William, Williams and Matthews. So I don't know whether those mean anything to you or you have a relative of those names. I might just suddenly say some names as we go forward. And um, those are obviously the male names that are coming through. In terms of girls' names, I can, I'm can i getting Nicola, Jessica. I'm also getting Lisa, Michelle. Okay, so I might just say a few names, but they might mean something to you as I speak. Okay, so here we've got peace, we've got the sun, we've got peace on the sun, and this is amazing. Now, obviously the sun card is a fantastic card to pull, but what does it mean? Because it's come in your actions, it's come in your action. So what do you need to do to improve your life? And this is, this is all about bringing things to light. The sun shines down, it speaks to us in an honest way. And it, it indicates that it's now sort of time to think clearly about a situation in your life. It's about expecting strength, clarifying different points in your life. And, and the one thing I want to say about the sun is it's also about the ego. Don't let your ego lead the way in life. It's not just about sharing your life, but finding a way, finding a way out. The sun also says to me in this reading that there are truths that need to be exposed. And again, this ties in really well with the high priestess, where the high priestess indicates secrets. This is like the light. It needs to be shined. So if you're holding back in a relationship, for example, or you're not saying all the things you want to say, this advice is that you need to have the strength and the stamina to face the truth and to be honest and to say what it is you want to say. Now, the sun itself is so bright, it, it kind of hurts our eyes when we look at it out, you know, outside. And this is all about making sure that when you do look at a situation, you don't just see the best. In terms of advice, the sun can also indicate that other people are going to be shining down on you. They're going to be having some very positive attitudes towards you and about you going forward. So I do hope that resonates with you. We've also got peace. Follow your peace. Follow peace in life. That is a charm that come out in terms of your actions for a better and brighter life. Things going around you. We've got the car. Uh, which I touched on earlier. So there might be issues around the car. You might need a new car. You're thinking about getting a new car. Perhaps you're having car problems. If you don't drive, it could be an indicator that you need to. Uh, you need to look at maybe driving. The car can also symbolise a journey, as we saw with the train. It can symbolise a journey, a faster journey in life. So it could just signify that when we're looking at the train, and the way that the train has been presented with the high priestess, things are fast moving. I get a real sense of speed. There's lots and lots of activity around your life at the moment. Now we've got here, this is around your present, we've got the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is basically about feeling frustrated. It can indicate along with the high priestess. So I need to read these together as a pair in order to understand your current condition. So we've got, obviously, we've been through the high priestess, but the six of wands is all about celebrating, but celebrating on your own. So a victory, you've achieved something, but you're kind of on your own in that victory. It suggests alongside the high priestess that there is a possibility that something is hidden and she loves to keep secrets, the high priestess. So there's unknown things, which we've said or, you know, I've said before. So this is related to the ego within and the six of wands signifies needing a ego boost or loving yourself or putting yourself on a pedestal. OK, so the secrets might be making you put yourself on a pedestal, maybe. And I would also say 
that the Six of Wands is associated with getting what you want. It means that you will automatically jump into something, jump through hoops to make something happen. It could be also a pride thing. Maybe in a relationship, you are not communicating or you're hiding your feelings because of a because of your pride, because you you don't want to look stupid, you don't want to look like you need somebody. And we're all we all do that in life, don't we? We all do that in life sometimes. It's a these two combined as a set of cards signifies that you might not realise that these secrets are around you. And it could also be that somebody is keeping secrets from you. And this card here indicates that you've got the victory. You can see through them. And the positional meaning of these two cards in your present can suggest that it's time for you to actually act. It's time for you to make a phone call. It's time for you to connect. It's time for you to Stop hiding behind the veil of the high priestess. Stop hiding behind your secrets and be truthful with yourself about how you're feeling of others around you. And this isn't just love. This is also work context, relationships, family. So just be honest about your feelings is what's coming through. And maybe that's, that's something that you've decided over the last month or two. Okay, so we've now got the blockage position here I've got a wand here that's let's put that in there <clears throat> so first of all we drew the cat now this is really interesting now I drew this cat I believe along with the knight of swords because it indicates a dark-haired man it could be an older man who thinks he's young but normally it's a man who is under the age of 35 and this is in your blockage position and what that means is the Knight of Swords is historically a card of spying. So this could be an ex-partner. This could be somebody who is checking out your social media. It could be that you're checking out old exes on social media. It could be that this person hurt you. They've got the sword, but it also means communication. So you could be in touch with this dark haired guy or it could be somebody from your past. And that could be a, a you know, romantic relationship, or it could be, let's see actually, let's just see. Man in relation to my viewer in the blockage position. Now, isn't that interesting how I've drawn that? You will be more successful telling the truth at all times, okay? You will be more successful telling the truth at all times. So as I said before, in the cards down here, the High Priestess and the Four of Wands, you might have been keeping secrets. So this is saying, you know, maybe be honest. Think about being honest, as long as it's not going to hurt people. So that might be in connection to this whole secrecy thing going on. Okay. Okay, let's go to the future. Right, the future here, we've got beautiful Page of Wands. Page of Wands. The page is represented as a man or a woman in the tarot, traditional tarot decks. And what does this mean as an outcome? So this is the... And what it means to me is the Page of Wands indicates finding yourself at the beginning of an amazing journey and we've already seen that we've got the train there haven't we so that kind of fits really well in so we've got the train in your future and we've got you are finding yourself on a beautiful journey and it indicates to me that you might be going in a new direction there might be new or different things offered in life and going towards a more positive outcome and i also saw some education remember so if you've been thinking about education or you're in education right now, it could be that there's going to be a new positive opportunity going forward and you're never too old to learn. And you might meet new people. If you're thinking about doing that evening course, if you're a little older, this could symbolise that maybe you might embark on that, perhaps, if that's your choice. 
or it could be signifying that you're currently in education and perhaps you know you're going to make a decision whether you want to continue education or you don't. It is a very positive card. The only negative thing here I would say that if you are having issues at the moment in your love life then you might want to kind of watch out a little bit because it could indicate some immature actions coming, which I think is very much connected to the tortoise. The tortoise as well is about hiding yourself away in your shell. And, you know, let's face it, we all have recently with the world as it is. We've all sort of stayed at home a bit more, haven't we? So in my view, it's about hiding yourself away and, and actually getting on with something in life, studying for something that's significant to you if that means anything. I can also see a waterfall, spiritually. Um, I've just been shown a waterfall of cleansing the soul. And I don't know whether you live near a waterfall, you're gonna visit a waterfall, you're thinking of going somewhere with a waterfall, but I can see beautiful water and glittering lights. So that is a very, thank you very much for such a lovely image. But that is a lovely image and that's kind of summing up your I don't know why Spirit wanted to connect with you in that way and send you a waterfall, but um, there you go. So whether that waterfall meant anything, whether you're visiting a waterfall or seeing a waterfall, and again, that connects very nicely with the lake, with the lake that um, I saw at the beginning of the reading. Um, I've just got the name Kimberly, and I've just got the name Steph, Stephanie, Kelly, Julie, Sarah, Laura, Shannon, Tammy, Tracy. Any more? Karen? If these are anybody you know, anybody you know, uh, Andrew. So they're significant people. If, they're, they're, if you know anybody of those names, Stephen. I've said Stephen, haven't I? I've said Stephen Spirit. I've said them. Okay, so shall we have a quick look at these charms? I think we shall. Let's just pop these ones back. And Sophie, maybe you went to school with a Sophie. Aaron, I get Aaron. Aaron's significant maybe to your life, you know an Aaron. Okay, Josh, I think you know a Josh. So maybe somebody even right back from school. I've been sent these names in order to calf, Kathleen. Maybe somebody in the spirit world. Simon. Sam. Okay. Canal boats. I can see walking by a canal or a stream walking, going for a nice country walk in the summer. Maybe that's something that you're thinking about doing. Beaches, sea, sea, oceans, sand. Okay. Okay, so we've now got a set of charms. I don't want to spend too long on the charms. Because I won't have time to do the tiles. But the first thing that strikes me is we have these lovely pictures. Right in the centre. We have these lovely pictures. So we have the beautiful ballerina. We have a very seductive lady over here. We have the birth of Venus by Balocci. And she's in Cyprus, and perhaps this is why I was getting the images of the beach. And this is quite an interesting painting. Uh, it indicates love, survival, and ties, up, ties in very well with your outcome card, which is the Page of Wands. It's about making sure that you have a passion. This picture here could represent your passion, and we have that in your outcome card in terms of the page. Moving on to the ballerina. You know somebody or you have somebody around you with beautiful grace, beautiful happiness. Ken. Kenneth. Okay. 
got a Kenneth. Maybe you work with a Kenneth. You know a Ken. Right, let's just draw out one of these for you. General spread for my viewer, my darling, spirit guides. Your advice. Okay, so we've got Arch Archangel Zachiel. Archangel Zachiel will help you to find tolerance and forgiveness. He works on the violet ray of purification and transmutation, helping you to release lower vibrations and ascend to a higher way of being. Angel wisdom suggests that you visualize yourself in the violet flame and invoke Archangel Zagiel to help you place your troubles and difficult relationships within the flame so that all negativity is transmuted. You are blessed to have drawn this card today for it indicates that you are ready to walk the path of life. Wow, that's a fantastic piece of advice from the angels, from my angel cards there. So it means that you need to follow the light. And again, that ties really well into your final sort of the, the sun action, going into the light. So visualising yourself into the light. I'm going to read all these as a group. You're on target for your dreams. You're spiritual because we've got the cat. Can you see that? You're spiritual because we've got the beautiful cat. You're on target to reach your dreams. You need to hear, hear what people are saying. This is about hearing and listening. And this is about giving. You need to give and you need to hear and you need to listen. Try and listen a little bit more in your life and, you, and people give you more back. This is about hugging your inner child or it could represent a child in real life, a child that you have. I also see a baby boy there. If you have a girl, then this could be symbolised by the, the teddy bear, okay? So that's children. And we had children in your spread, didn't we? Brushing away all the difficulties in life. And I kind of get the sense that that is what you're trying to do at the moment. Just brush away and keep on working hard and keeping on, keeping on. And again, this really fits well with and and you need to do this, and you need to do that. So that's how you're feeling. That's forcing you to sort of go internally and hide away in your tortoise shell. Maybe a relationship as well has made you hide away in life. You feel like you need to hide away. Issues or problems around cars. Again, we have this in your spread, in your present. And time is running out. So what are you going to do for the rest of your life with the time that you have? That's the signal of this charm that comes out. Let's quickly do the tiles. Pop these all back inside. If you like my cards on my website, many people have asked for them to be printed. I'm not sure how many people will actually purchase them, but if that is something that you'd like me to do, if you do enjoy these cards and you think they're beautiful, then please pop that in the comments. That will be fantastic and I'll get that all sorted out. Likewise, I've got some hoodoo candles here um, where they actually have specific beautiful mix of specific spell candles. So I do all sorts. I mean, these ones are love candles, but... I also do business candles and I do them for myself, to be honest. I put certain oils, ointments within and um, I do them for my friends. What I require. So if that's something else that you'd be interested in, then let me know. Okay, so this box is my Aunt Florence box. She made it in the Victorian times. She was a famous medium in London. And... It was handed down the family so it contains my tiles so she is my ancestral guide so i do ask for her help so i'm asking my ancestors spirit guides of archangels to give me some words for this reading
Okay, so I've got some words and I do have some numbers. Let's put that down there. Okay, so what do we have here? Numbers, this could be car registration numbers. This could be something significant to you. Bradley. Do you know a Bradley or went to school with a Bradley? Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we have some numbers here. Oops, a daisy. G, D, oops, that three might be significant because that just popped out. R, V, U, Y, B. Q didn't want to come go around did it. Double Q. Queen. G. Okay, so let's see what words we can make with those letters. The first thing I see is buy. So maybe you're buying too much at the moment somebody wants to buy you or somebody wants to do something in terms of buying you a gift for example i also see dry things can feel a little bit dry in your life at the moment that could be monetary wise it could be that you don't feel that you have enough money at the moment if that's how you're feeling I'll tell you what else I can see. I can see, whoops, drug, drug. So maybe you've had a legitimate drug, antibiotics, or it could be obviously illegal drugs. We've also got druggy, so maybe you've been feeling a bit spaced out recently maybe that resonates with you have you felt spaced out in the last six months a bit dizzy and we've got buggy somebody might be bugging you it could be a buggy of a child we've also got rugby if you visit the rugby that might be significant think about the game of rugby as well you're running to get to the finish you know you're running against people and they're trying to tear you down, trying to get the ball. Is that how you're feeling in your life right now? Is that what you are feeling? This pull? Is it the fact that you have been to the rugby? Could be that you've been to the rugby for ha perhaps. So we've got bury. Bury means hiding, hiding underground, covering something up, not being completely honest. And again, that, that ties in with the high priest F with hiding away secrets. So maybe that kind of resonates with you at the moment. Is somebody hiding something from you, for example? Does that mean anything? Rub. Has somebody rubbed you up the wrong way? Have you rubbed yourself? Have you rubbed your shoes, for example? Does that resonate with you, my lovely? We've also got bud. Bud normally comes out with somebody that might not want to commit to you in a relationship. It could be... Somebody sees you as a friend with benefits, that kind of thing. It could be that there's an issue with your buddy, with your friends at the moment. We've also got guy. So guy, a guy is very important to you, my lovely. We've got guy there. And I think that's all I can see. Unless you can, if you can see any that I can't see, then can you post those in the comments because there might be one that other people might really resonate with i'm kind of feeling that perhaps we need to do this once more i'm going to grab my box of delights and my spiritual information from within it's not going to resonate for everybody but hopefully this should resonate with some of you some more words i'm going to pull so please bear with me Okay, spirit guides, angels, please connect with my viewer right now. Please give me some words that will resonate with them. Help them in their future journey of this life. Help their soul, please.
quite a lot here. Okay, so we have an L, an O, a B, a V, an A, and a Z, a B, a T, an A, a G, a D, an R, an M, a H, an L, an R. I was hoping we'd get love, but we haven't got an E. What kind of love? Love to, from me to you, my lovely soul. Six or a nine. Six or a nine. Sixty-nine and a five. So we could have nine, 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 five, six, six, five, six, nine, five. Phone numbers, car registration numbers, birthdays, birth dates. Oh, we've got a miss, missus. We've got marriage there, which is really good. So let's now have a look and see what I can see. Okay, so we've got ballot. Ballot. That's quite an interesting word. Let's come out. We've got ballot. So we've got ballot, which is obviously a secret, a secret ballot in order to understand your feelings, my lovely. And grouped with the tarot card, the High Priestess, which you had, um, that forms well in the whole process in terms of there's something secret that you're trying to keep from others at the moment, perhaps your feelings about a matter. So the ballot and the High Priestess comes together quite nicely there. Okay, the other really interesting thing that I've just seen, I've just seen the word lavabo, lavabo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, this is really interesting, lavabo. You probably might not know what that means, but I will tell you. It is a Catholic, it is a Catholic ceremony which is part of Psalm 25. I don't know if I've got as far as Psalm 25, but if I haven't, I will do Psalm 25 for you. Um, post that in a video just after this. So Psalm 25 is all about washing your hands, cleansing your soul, and this can really fit into the waterfall that I saw. So maybe you do need to cleanse yourself, your spirit. And reciting Psalm 25 will enable you to do that. So that is a really strong spiritual message that has come in from this reading. And if we also look at the principle of washing the hands, normally this is done uh, before a holy ceremony. But this is about a rite in order um, to wash away the difficulties, the pain and the problems that you have in daily life. So there is a spiritual message for you. And let's see what other, what other messages that are coming out right now. I see Mag. Oh, that's quite obvious. Mag. So that could be Maggie. That could be Magazine. That could be associated with a proper brochure mag magazine uh what else do we see oh i know someone gazebo we've got gazebo 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 where's the a b no so maybe there's going to be a wedding a celebration in the gazebo in the summer maybe you're going to spend time in a gazebo that's quite important. Oh, we've also got global, and this might relate to your job. And it's quite a powerful word, meaning there's going to be lots of opportunities, lots of global opportunities around the globe. It could be that you've got a job with an international company, and that's why global has appeared. We've also got vault. We've got Vault, which can be connected to electrics, electricians, 
it can be connected to lights if you've had difficulty with your lights recently maybe a bulb's gone that kind of thing okay we all oh, what else do i see a lot there's a lot of stuff going on here a lot of stuff in your life going on and it's busy you are busy and we can also take lot from that you know there's lots lots going on at the moment okay and what else can i see here in your tiles i can see the beautiful halo halo is a computer game halo is a halo in terms of your spirits it would probably be more inclined to be a spirit that you've got a halo of light around you around your aura you are protected from adversities at the moment by your spirit guides so halo is very positive we've also got oval does oval mean anything to you the shape the oval shape that could mean something to you and we've also got lava there might have been a bit of anger around you a bit of anger a bit of anger in your life lava normally appears when somebody has been angry with you and you're finding it difficult to deal with that person and that can marry in nicely with again this seems to be coming in your readings a lot. Going into your shell when people get angry with you. We've also got toad. And I feel that this is for my single viewers. Maybe about a love affection. A love interest. Maybe you've kissed a lot of toads. Maybe that resonates with you. Let's also ask ask about your love life if you're single if my single viewers please give me a draw me a card that they will resonate regarding their love life okay resonate regarding their love life okay so we've got we've got success for you if you carry through Appreciate what you have before it turns into what you had. Okay, so I suppose I can take that as appreciate being single. And you know what? When you are single, you don't appreciate being single. You just, you sometimes just think, oh yeah, I want to have this. I want to have a partner. And you don't actually appreciate the time that you can spend being with somebody. Let's ask about future love life. For my single viewers. Sorry if you're attached. It's just I'll, I'll do you a reading quickly with one of these cards about your connection with your current partner. But for now, the future of my single viewer, please. Okay, just beware of spending time with people who aren't actually dating you. I spend my free time with you. We are dating minus a label. So make sure that you go for commitment there. Okay, for my for my viewers that are married, can you just give me a message to all those viewers that are married that are watching this right now, please? Life is too short to worry about this. So, so but it's basically saying stop worrying about things. Stop worrying about things in life. And enjoy the connection and the marriage or the partnership that you have. Life is too short. So I hope those messages resonated with you. Um, make sure my single ladies and my single men who are watching this. Do not be like a doll. Always show your emotions. You have a tendency to hide behind yourself. Especially when it comes to love. Okay. And also stand tall. Stand tall in the face of adversity. There's another message there for you. As you don't like to be told what to do. You're a bit of a free spirit I get. That's the energy I get from you. 
from doing this reading and there might be you know there might be something that's going to hit your life in the future like a, a kind of bolt of light we've been talking about light a lot in this reading like a bolt of light and I also sort of see things sort of boiling over you know a bit sort of oh yeah as if things are sort of boiling over in regards to the lava if you think about a lava boiling over and when I saw the vision of the waterfall I think that was in connection to cleansing because obviously we had the Psalm 20 was it 25 I think it was Psalm 25. Um, we had that Psalm, you have to go and recite the Psalm and the boat, you know, a boat, emotions. Water is about emotions and boats are about floating above those emotions. So grouped with the lava, it can mean that things might just phew, go out of control. And it's important, as I've said many times, and we have this here, we have this target, and we have the dreams and we have your goals, okay? Very important to think about your goals in life itself. I hope the load of what I've said is not too much and that you can take these spiritual messages boldly I'm speaking from spirit now. You can take this message boldly and hold on. Hold on to the messages here as you navigate your life and take note of the gold that life gives us and to make sure that you do hold on to your dreams, to your targets. Let's just ask the angel, just to finish on one of these lovely angel cards. Could I just have a final message from my viewer, please? Spiritual connection. <sighs> Kindness. In order to be kind, you must open your heart to the gentle qualities of caring and compassion. Be kind to yourself. Have reasonable expectations and give yourself due praise. In order to nurture the gentle quality of kindness, cherish yourself. When you do something for yourself, you automatically extend that same energy to others. Kindness mounts barriers of ice around people and re-empowers those who are afraid. So reach out to the lonely, draw out the shy, include those who feel isolated and comfort the sad. Your rewards will be the sense of inner peace, warmth and love. I hope that, I hope that resonates with you, my beautiful soul, my beautiful viewer. And please check out my website, auntieflo.com. And I do hope that all your dreams come true. God bless. Bye-bye. Welcome, my lovely number twos. You've picked number two. You've picked this beautiful beautiful rough quartz. I'm just going to talk about this for one second because this is quite an interesting stone you picked. It's got two points. So when we talk about two points, we're talking about uni unison, unity with people. So you're very social. People love you. People want to be near you. People want to be connected with you. So that's the first thing that really resonates um, through in terms of the energy that I'm getting is People love you in terms of who you are, your character. You're a bit eccentric, a bit quirky because you have your own opinions of things and you have strong opinions. And it's just a really beautiful, beautiful um, stone to pull to say that people just, it's like a magnet. 
people are magnetic towards you, my lovely twos. Okay, so let's um, get your cards. I shuffled these earlier on and I haven't actually looked at them because I want to pick up the vibration that Spirit is going to give me in this reading. I might um, every so often sort of just give you a name or a place or something that I see in my mind. So hopefully that might resonate for you. Okay, so let's start with your first card. You picked the Ten of Swords for your past. So there's been quite a lot of uh, sort of anguish and pain and hurt in the past, which we'll talk about in a moment. Present, we've got the High Priestess. It's a very secretive, beautiful, spiritual card to pull. And that's for your present situation. Oh, the future in general terms. We've got the Moon. That's the... And, if you're just wondering, these cards are from my my, my own deck. Um, I created these cards. Um, me and my team created these cards. So we're actually thinking of getting them printed. So if that's something you would like, could you just post it in the comments? So we've got now course of action in life. So this is a general reading. So this is a general sort of course of action to improve your life. We've got the seven of pentacles. actually pulled an extra one there but I'm going to read it anyway have I pulled no I haven't um the next card in the pack is the page of cups and that is the conditions that are currently around you at the moment let me move my tiles which we will hope we will do a bit later obstacles and things standing in your way we've got the queen of wands which is generally a blonde mature woman And then the outcome, your outcome spread card, which is a great card to pull, is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful card to pull. Okie dokie. Right, let's do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to pull a charm for each of these cards, just to get a bit of an, more of an idea of the gist of your reading. Okay, so my viewers watching this right now, could I have clarity, please, on the Ten of Swords? Clarity on the Ten of Swords. We've got a dog, so we've got a friendship or a romantic relationship. A dog is also connected to family because obviously the dog resides in the family home. We'll talk about that, the connection with that in a moment. Could you please give clarity on the High Priestess for this viewer? There we go. We've got a very, very heavy, very ancient pot, which is quite interesting. Could I please have clarity on the moon for the viewer right now? Okay, we have you under the spotlight. We have a camera there. Okay, so that's your camera which will place under the moon, which kind of like connects with the moon quite well because obviously negatives, a negative room is very dark. We'll talk about it in that in a moment. Course of action, please could you clarify for the viewer? Oh, look at that. It's actually fallen out. So I'm going to leave that charm on there. Now the charms that fall out mean something. So I'm gonna pop those over there so you can see them. Please, can you clarify the Page of Cups? Okay, we've got a car there. We've got a red car. We've got a fast car. Can you please clarify the Queen of Wands? Okay, so we've got peace. Clarify the blonde lady. And we've got peace around the blonde lady, which is lovely. And then finally, can you clarify, please, the future in general terms for reading for this viewer right now? Oh, that's fantastic. We've got positive vibes. So the first thing I'm going to say is this is a general reading for you and it's very positive. That's the first thing I will say. We did have some charms that fell out here, which I should really read. We've got and... So that means things like 
you're finding at the moment and this and that and this and that and it's very very fast things are going very fast in your life we've got target you've got your own targets that you're trying to reach we have the tortoise so sometimes you feel like just hiding away in your tortoise shell we've got rose so we've got love in your life or that you will have love in your life very soon so that is very positive from an, and i'm doing this on uh, valentine's day so it's quite interesting that that's popped out but anyway so this is about love even though i've done this on valentine's day it's timeless the fact you found this video the fact that you're watching this video there is obviously something here that if you connect with anything i say then it means something to you we've got a baby girl so this could be literal it could be a baby in your life it could just be your inner child that you need to hug and kiss and look after oh we've got a very sexy french woman and this is about sexual desires, the fact that you're getting a lot of sex, you're not getting enough sex. This is a painting of Moulin Rouge. It's about relationships, happiness, contentment, intimacy. And it's a fantastic one to pull in my charms. I'm now going to talk about... Oh, there's what... oh this is falling out. Oh, that's a lovely charm to get. That's happy ever after, happy marriage. So if you've been going through trouble or perhaps you're married at the moment or in a long-term relationship, it denotes happy marriage and happy times ahead. So that's very positive to pull out. So both those pictures together represent good partnership, represent great times. If you're single, it could represent meeting somebody new. If you're married, it is great marriage. Okay, so let's just get the gist of this reading as a broad outline, because I like to give a broad outline. In general, this is a very positive reading. We do have some shadows in your life from the moon. I'm going to just take each card individually. Let's start with this. Now, it looks like, along with this dog, that you've suffered a lot of heartache, a lot of pain in the past. As you can see on this card, somebody has brutally been killed. And obviously this wasn't very fair because look at the amount of swords that he has in his back. It's my belief when this card uh, appears in a reading, there's a lot of hatred, a lot of rage, a lot of anger going on in the past. It's as if someone has to some degree sort of used violent and extreme ends. Uh, if we put that into any context it could be that someone has under the influence of the 10 been treating you in an awful terrible way and i hope that resonates with you and the fact that we have a dog indicates that you were a sort of friend or a, it could have been an ex-partner for example it could be somebody very close to the, you that really meant something to you like the dogs like the pet dogs mean to us and it's quite sad that this has come up in your past. And I, I just really feel that you've been through a lot of problems. You've had issues with people speaking about you. Lots of gossip. I can see Spirit has given me a, vi a vision of people talking, people talking behind your back. And I get the sense that I can see women sort of whispering. Not that it would be women, but whispering behind your back that kind of thing and it's really hurt your feelings um i'm not really i'm not really picking up that so this card might not resonate with everybody but it might resonate for those who have felt pain in the past perhaps in regards to a relationship or a friendship you've maybe had to overcome some horrible depression and a sort of shattered faith in terms of thinking about human behaviour and the way people are. Again, as I said before, weighed down by this gossip, this gossiping and spreading about you, and possibly could have been ostracised uh, by people, and perhaps you might have received some difficult news about your health or the health of others. 
that could be another context of this card. However, I do think this is more about people and it's more about a sort of situation where there was a breakdown of communication. And if you think about it, a bit like a pan Pandora's box where things inside have been a bit difficult and once you let something out, it all bounced out at you. And it's not fun to be treated like this and it's not fun to be you know have all these swords in your back because look look at it at the end of the day only one sword would have killed this person in my card why 10 you know why why do people overdo it so that's really the the sort of betrayal of the 10 of swords probably will carry you through your life and what we learn from these experiences is obviously the, the precious secrets that we have when we're put in the position of responsibility and trust and friendship and partnership of somebody. And when that all turns around, it's difficult to take. And you've done really well to fight this, to fight what this has made you feel because sometimes when people treat us like that we can feel unworthy we can feel disappointment we can feel that there's something wrong with us and there's nothing wrong with you so this card here denotes maybe you've experienced some difficulties in the past with people or with a situation so i hope that resonates okay so let's look at your present i'm just going to sit up a little bit because so I can just get zoom in a little bit more to this charm. Okay, look at that beautiful charm. Okay, so this is a pot. This is a pot of spiritual delight. And this marries very well with the High Priestess. And the High Priestess in readings is basically connected to secrets. It's about your inner wisdom. It's about questioning the uh, spiritual world. It's about suggesting that you need to take time away in order to get quiet reflection. It also comes about, the High Priestess, when something is hidden. She may represent a divine connection with somebody on a spiritual level. It can also signify um, the material aspects of life. The material, and maybe that's what is connected with this charm that you got for this card. It's a, it's a very positive to got, card to draw in a deck. She represents the inner knowing she represents the card of mystery, of balance, of female qualities, of having the different aspects in life that challenge you, but on a good level. It's about wanting, wanting to keep something hidden from view. Maybe you want to keep something hidden and you need to rely on your own intuition. You might be going through a period of time where you basically need to think about your own inner self and perhaps you need to keep some secrets to yourself at the moment. It also suggests sort of earring on the side of inner cosmos and keeping things sheltered. It can also signify a woman who is unattainable. Okay, so maybe you're a little mysterious to people and from the occult perspective, it's about you being psychic or telepathic or someone who is very good at keeping those secrets and also represents, you know, an unknown answer. Maybe you're looking for an answer at the moment, but you just can't get it. OK, so that's the High Priestess. It's very important when I'm doing this, that I'm reading these two together because this is your this is your current situation. So we've got the High Priestess. And we have the Page of Pentacles, uh, sorry, the Page of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups and the High Priestess together as your present. So what this can represent is the Page of Cups can be a male or female in the tarot deck. And supported by the High Priestess, it can mean that somebody is keeping secrets from you. The Page of Cups is also somebody that gives you love. So it could be that there's a secret around a relationship at the moment. We also have journeys. We have journeys in terms of that connection. So it could be that you are taking a journey and you are stepping away from the relationship and thinking about things. It could be literal that this person that is in your life, your lover, for example, is taking journeys away. 
It could be that there's some mystery around the romance. It can also indicate that there's an unknown answer in the relationship. Okay, so I hope those two resonate. I won't sort of go too much on about the page of cuts, but it generally represents children. It can represent um, a child or it can represent uh, a lover who is quite young minded. Okay, the page of cups as a lover is quite young minded. So if you've got children, it could represent children, i.e. going on a journey with children. It could be a lover going on a journey, but that person at the moment is or you are going on some kind of journey. It could be literal, a journey in the car, or it could be spiritual. Let's look at the future in general terms. So I've pulled here for you, my lovely, I've pulled the moon. And the moon is quite a confusing card. Interestingly, in this position, we have this camera. So that was random in terms of I picked that charm out. And that's quite significant. Obviously, in photographs, negatives are done in a dark room. So this is all about the darkness. The Ramoon often reminds me of, you know, the Harry Potter stories. And we sometimes see that, you know, in Harry Potter, there was lots of harmless fun in the dark. And the moon can very much be like that. If you think in the scene of Harry Potter where they're all sat eating the food, for example, it's all a bit dark, it's all a bit mysterious, it's all a bit of a crazy place to be in, but it's not scary and it doesn't really last forever. So I like to see the moon as kind of like that scene of like the unseen, something hidden, something dark, but not quite scary. And that is something that's going to happen in the future, because this is in your future card. And if we're looking at the future, it means that there might be tricks, there might be shadows, there might be enchantment. It can also tie really well into the High Priestess if you're going to do any sort of magic work, if you're spiritually inclined. It can represent that. It can represent that, you know, you might do some work uh, with the moon, for example. It, it can also signify that something significant will happen to you in one month's time in regards to the moon cycle. I often also see the moon as related to feminine people, feminine energy. That's the kind of gist I get. And I also think that there's, if we look at a mirror, for example, like the moon, there are two sides, two sides to a mirror. So it might be that you're linking to going forward in a choice. You're moving away from the darkness into the light. If we look at the rainbow in the 10, if we look at the rainbow here, you're moving towards the rainbow, you're moving towards the light. So that's very positive. The, the camera as well just strikes me. It's coming out of your reading. Uh, it just strikes me as, the camera just strikes me as people looking at you, people watching you, you being in the limelight coming out of the darkness, moving away from difficulties. So I hope that resonates. Okay, so we've now got the Seven of Pentacles. So this is your action card. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles is, in terms of action, all about you trying to approach the search for what it is you really want in life. The seven is all about where to focus your efforts, where to focus your energy. And when I'm doing spreads for people, it often comes up when there's a decision that needs to be made. So, for example, if you're at university, for example, and there's a job offer that, that comes up, um, it can indicate that you might not want to move away from university and go to the job because it will upset the roots, but you're looking for the material, the material manifestation and you're looking for the money, but it will stop you from getting a goal. So that's kind of where I see the Seven of Pentacles. I also see the Seven of Pentacles as sitting there and being quite content with what you've got, which is what this lady is doing. However, there's more Pentacles in the future. So it's very interesting how the action card is very much focused on material possessions. The Seven of Pentacles is also telling you you need to do what you need to do in order to prepare for the future, i.e. if you are a, at school or university, you need to do your homework. 
if you're at work you need to do courses it's it's basically all about making sure that you create your success you do more but it's also about sitting there and enjoying the fruits of your labors but you've got lots more work to do going forward in order to achieve your goals okay in order to achieve your targets which is what we had in your charms in terms of the brush it can often indicate literally you need to clean up okay or you you have been cleaning it can also signify that you need to clean a lot of your objectives maybe you have been doubting things maybe you have been too inclined to just fade along in life and not actually really reach a goal that you have. If you don't have a goal, how are you ever expected to succeed, for example? So the brush as well represents work. You know, we have to brush. It's hard to brush. It's hard to, to brush, to mop the house, to brush the house, to clean the house. It requires work. And I think this is why it mysteriously just fell on the Seven of Pentacles, because it's telling you, there's more work to do. You need to crack on and do more work in order to get the Ten of Cups. If you don't do your work, you will end up sitting in the shadows. Go to the light, do your work. That's kind of the gist I'm getting from this um, reading right now. So we've covered that. We also have here, we've got a lovely blonde lady. So if there's a blonde lady in your life, for some reason, it's come into the blockage position. I don't quite understand why, because we've got peace. Maybe you need to make peace with a lady with blonde hair. That, uh, to me, might be, might resonate with you. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily represent a lady with blonde hair. It can represent a dark-haired lady, as in my card. So, you need to make peace with a lady, is what it's trying to say. And I think you'll probably know who that is. Okay, now let's look at your future card. Positive vibes, that's fantastic. Turn of Cups. I don't think we can really get much better than the Turn of Cups for an outcome position. I love the Ten of Cups. It is a fantastic card to pull. It means that you are going to have all the happiness um, that resides in my beautiful rainbow here. The cups are flowing. And it's really a card of celebration. The Ten of Cups indicates happy times in love. If you are single, it means that you're likely to meet somebody. It's great for romantic relationships. It indicates blissful relationships, harmony, and just feeling actually aligned with someone from a soul perspective. As you can see, there's two ladies on my beautiful card and they signify fertility, the river and, you know, the water that they're sat in represents the flow of emotion. The rainbow means the end of difficult times. The end of difficult times that we had here in your Ten of Swords. So this is a really fantastic card to pull. It is about, finally, you're going to reach the places that you want to reach as long as you work hard. You've got to work hard, positive vibes, but work, work, work like you would do tidying up and sweeping the floor. Okay, so what should we do next? Okay, let's do the tiles. So let's pop these back. We've done the charms. Right, okay, so we're just going to consult the tiles. And this box was made by my aunt Florence in the Victorian time. She was a very famous medium in London. And I'm going to consult this oracle to see if there's anything that you need to know regarding general life reading. So let's do this. Is there anything my viewer needs to know generally about their life at the moment? Spirit guides, guardian angels. Okay, so I've pulled some tiles here. I've got a few numbers. We've got a six or a nine, which is here, look. 
we've got a zero. Now these could be numbers of phone numbers, they could be numbers related to door numbers, children's ages, your age, oh, whoopsie. Number three, so we've got six zero three or nine, oops, nine zero three, if that means anything to you, any, anything significant. Okay, so let's see what these tiles mean. So we've got T, we've got Y, we've got J, we've got U, that's it, we've got D, we've got S, we've got K, we've got P, isn't it funny how they're all face down, it's a bit unusual, we've got C, We've got another U. We've got a G. We've got an N. And we've got a K. So let's see what I can make from this. Um, Okay, so the first thing, okay, the first word ooh, that comes to mind is <clears throat> un, have I got an N? Yep, unjust. So that strikes me that perhaps recently you've had something that has been somewhat unjust, you know, a situation that is unjust, which makes you feel difficult. And then through this, whether this is gonna be the future or, you know, again, this, this is a general reading, it might not apply to you at all, but I've also got unstuck. So whatever situation perhaps you found yourself in, you're able to escape that situation, or it can also mean that things are perhaps dependent upon whether this resonates with you or not perhaps in the future things will become or feel unstuck which is you know pretty positive I'm um, just trying to see if I can see any more I've also got ooh, I've got dusky dusky so obviously dusk the, the you know when it's dusk outside it's very hard to see so I would say that perhaps situations now or in the past have been quite hard for you to see to for you to visualize I also see perhaps you might need to get rid of some junk now this could be literal there might be junk in your house or perhaps you've recently got rid of some junk or there's been some junk situations which the unjust situation could be, you know, that it's just a load of junk and you can't deal with it. Um, I also see stuck. So perhaps you were stuck in a situation, but then we got unstuck as well, which is really, you know, really positive that we've got stuck and unstuck. That is very... Uh, that's very uncanny, really. This really just is not a coincidence in my view that these words sort of pop up. We've got Judy. And if we think about Judy, if we think about Punch and Judy, oops, that came to mind, and how oppressed Judy is in the Punch and Judy show. So we've got Judy, it's maybe a literal word for a name or it could be that you're just feeling like a puppet you know think of that song you know that really famous song um the monkey i can't remember it what tones and i it's called and she was she was going out and she was busking in australia trying to make it trying to make her success and dance like a monkey is all about dancing to please, doing what people want. And maybe you've been feeling like that. You've been feeling like a puppet. You've been feeling like a puppet in your life. Okay, let's see what else I can see. If there's any words that you can see that I can't see in this, please, that I don't cover, then please post in the comments because 
other people might really resonate with these words because I don't always, you know, my skills are good, but um, I sometimes miss some. Okay, so we've got, we've done junk. Let's now, we've got gust. It might have been very windy where you were, a gust of wind. Perhaps that's literal, that it's a gust of wind that you've, um, we've also got skunk. Now, in terms of animal totems, and when animals come up in my tiles, I do associate, um, is that how you spell skunk? I do associate animals with spiritual beings. And if you think about a skunk, how it protects itself, you know, it eliminates this odour. So this could be literal, that you've been round someone a bit smelly. It could be that maybe, because we've got junk, that um, you need to kind of tidy up. This is maybe you need to just tidy up your life. We've also got sung. So maybe you've been singing recently. You've been watching people singing, perhaps a show or so on. Uh, we've also got cusp. So you're on the cusp of something in your life. We've got cusp. Oops. P. We've got cusp. So that could be that could be significant. We've also got guns. We've got guns. So I don't know if you know anything about guns or guns has been featured in your life or maybe. Even just watching a programme about guns means that perhaps this kind of resonates with you. I've also got duck, and obviously duck is on water. And perhaps you feel a little bit like a floating duck in terms of, you know, not being ready for things in life. We've also got, let's have a look. We've also got this word, which I'm not going to read out. Um, da, 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 da. We've got that word. I'm not going to read that one out. Um, what else can I see here? That might resonate with some of you. Um, I've also got cut. Cut. So you might have cut yourself. You might. Your heart might feel cut at the moment if there's been some issues um what else do i see here we've got stun is it stun stun maybe you've been something shocked you you know something because and we've got dust again we had junk didn't we dust so maybe this is about cleaning or tidying up or you know of that nature and I've got suck. Something sucks. Baby sucking. Some sort of suck. Hello. There we go. Something sucks, maybe, in life. We've also got cup. And that's really interesting because we had the ten, didn't we? We had the ten of cups as your, um, your final card. So that's really positive. That literates the future for me. I've also got spy. So I don't know if you've been spying on people or people have been spying on you, perhaps. Uh, we have spy, so that might resonate for a few of you out there. And do you know what? I've got this. It's amazing when this comes up. I love it when we see the sun. We see the sun, which is a fantastic um, omen to get, which means everything's... The light is going to uh, shine. The light will shine. Okay, I've also got Guy. So there might be a significant guy in your life. And some of these tiles might relate to that guy, perhaps. And I think that's about it that I can see. As I said, if there's anything... Oh, I've got Sink. So something is going to sink. So what I mean by this in tiles is that we all have paths in life and 
they're going to sort of there's going to be a pattern of time where it's sort of synchronized in terms of what you're going to be doing um that's the kind of strikes me it perhaps might mean that you might have an opportunity to do something and there's a sort of period of time over i'm talking about in the future where things seem synchronized you know things seem together so that's really positive and that sort of shines in the the ten of cups um, that we got for your for your future we've also got puns so maybe you're you know somebody who's quite a good comedian that makes you laugh we've got puns there and we've got punk punk and if you think about a punk you know like a punk rocker you know they don't have any rules do they they like to be free spirits they don't particularly like rules they like to be different and it's okay to be different out of life you know I think it's great to be different. We don't all want to be the same. So maybe that's that might resonate for a few of you out there, my lovelies. Okay, and we've got ups. So that's really positive. We've got ups. Where's my P? There he is. We've got ups. UPS could be delivery company or things are on the up. So that's really, really positive. It might resonate with some of you, my lovelies. So, if there's any that you can see that I can't in my tiles, then please pop that in the comments. And I hope this general spread has resonated with you, my lovelies. And don't forget to check out my website, auntieflow.com, and I've really enjoyed doing your reading. Thank you. threes you've selected this amazing piece of quartz it has a point which is really fantastic it indicates moving towards goals and look at the shine of this beautiful beautiful crystal so that's really positive just wanted to talk about that before we start okay let's get to it so these are the cards that I drew earlier I haven't actually seen what these cards are so for the past you've got the queen of swords For the present, you've got the King of Cups. Now, this is just a general reading. If you like my cards, they are available on my website. You can see the meanings on my website. Alternatively, I'm thinking about getting them printed. So if you'd like those, please pop that in the comments. We've got this King of Swords. The King of Swords for your future in general. Look at all these people. Goodness, we've got lots of people going on here. Another person here, we've got the Empress as your course of action. So this is just a general reading, by the way, a general reading. I will clarify some pointers. I might say some names in the reading that might resonate with you. Michael, for example, Michael's just come through. If you know a Michael or you've had a Michael in your life or an Anthony in your life or, you know, even went to school with these people. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is your present card. And we've got the Five of Pentacles, which is associated with the blockage position. And the final, out oh, we've got the Wonderful Star as your final outcome card. So I'm going to talk about these cards. But before we begin, let's put my tiles down there. I'd like to just draw a clarifying charm. This is my basket of charms please clarify in this reading the queen of swords so we've got a clock there beautiful golden clock actually that is i could stand that up but i can't can we clarify the king of cups in this reading we've got a game we've got games being played by the king of cups we've got the bridge game okay so that's very interesting and significant can you please clarify the king of swords please. we're 
we're in this together. Yep, yeah, because we've got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, which are a pair, but we have a man in between here. That has just popped out. Marriage. So that could be related to the marriage. We've also got a golf club there. Popped out. And we have we have the teddy bear, which has also come out. So now I'm asking for clarity of my empress card here. Could you clarify the empress, please, in this reading that I'm about to do? Please clarify the empress card. We've got a penguin. Okay. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. We have a teddy bear. We've also got Mr. Bear over here, which is quite interesting. Can you clarify the Five of Pentacles, please? I hope you can see that there. We've got a bird. Free as a bird. We've got a bird charm there. And finally, finally, can you please clarify the star, which is the final card of this reading for the viewer that is watching now. Okay, so we've got a very heavy, very heavy silver teapot, which is fantastic. Silver is very expensive. We also have a few charms that have fallen out here. We have the moon, a sparkly moon, which we'll talk about in a little while. The bear, the golf club, and the picture of the beautiful union of marriage. So, let me first, I might talk about these charms as we go along. So, I can see here a partnership. I can see, now, when the king and queen come out together, I generally feel that the partnership is a bit pulled, a bit challenging. It means that you might have in the past been with the wrong connection. It could be that you, you know, it doesn't seem to be a, a very loving relationship because if it was very loving, I would have probably have pulled the, the two, the cups. However, it looks like to me, we've got the king of cups in your present and the king of swords in your future. So it kind of feels that perhaps if you're with a connection, if you're with a partner right now, they can flip. They can one minute be really nice and the next minute it can be a real struggle when you're fighting with your, your two swords here, look. You're fighting together. And it just strikes me that this is about two people who are so similar on a sort of intellectual level that they end up kind of trying to fight each other. But... We have a, a, another man here in your present who loves playing games. And due to the fact that we've got this here, to me, this could be either a third person involved in this relationship that you have. If you don't, if you're not in a relationship, it could be that you have two options or you could, you have somebody who's got a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde personality. One minute they're really loving, the next minute they're really cold and you don't know which one, which way they're going. But again, even if you're in a relationship, in a marriage, I'm getting vibes that perhaps your partner um, could be male, could be female. If, if you're watching and you're male, it could be a female who's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. I kind of get that kind of hot, cold vibe. Let's just clarify. This business here, my lovely cards. Just want to clarify what's going on in this uh, these three cards that I'm getting here. I understand you are completely perfect. I am a fucking idiot for not seeing it and I do see it. Okay, so what that's saying to me is it might be somebody from the past that you had a relationship with is completely regretting you leaving, okay? They don't see that they've been a nightmare. And I'm not talking about your current connection, if you do have one. I'm talking about past exes. They are, and it doesn't have to be someone you've been out with. It could have just been somebody that you really connected with, but you just never kind of got anywhere with. It's somebody in the past who um, 
didn't see things the way they were and you kind of slipped by and they're kind of regretting that right now so have some kind of maybe that makes you feel better about the situation that happened in the past but I do have a man here playing games in your present and you've got the clock so the queen of swords represents normally a lady who has got dark hair um, normally dark haired lady the king of cups normally represents a more lighter haired man but it can also represent a man who manipulates who's a player who ghosts who kind of plays games but also he's very loving very charming and you just want to be near him like a magnet the king of swords represents a man um, who's got dark hair so we've got lots of people here past present future we've also got the empress here in terms of your action and the emperor normally comes up if you have children if you're a mother or you have a motherly type of um, significance around you so i'm just going to quickly take these cards separately just to give you you know a proper reading of it so the king uh, sorry the queen of swords she represents a direct woman she's direct with words and they don't mix their words they're very direct they're always on your side the queen of swords represents a very direct woman she supports you but she doesn't mince her words she's very direct and the queen is a sharp intellectual woman and she's quite arrogant so when you pull the queen, it means that you are dealing with a lady who is associated with appearing to be focused on transformation and she is connected to hearing the truth. So she likes the truth. She's very connecting. OK, let's now take the King of Cups. So the King of Cups in terms of character, obviously I've described, oh, let's pop over here. The King of Cups as a character is an emotive man. He's a man that makes decisions and he does not consider his feelings. He believes that feelings are not associated with any logic. This, this man, the King is also kind of like the dreamer of water. He rises in spreads when we are dealing with somebody who's perhaps passive aggressive and he's also a lover he loves to offer his cup he's normally the cancer sign is ruled by cancer and it can signify that sometimes you might feel that the king or a man around you is wishy-washy but he's quite manipulative in what he does so if we turn to sort of more occultism and the golden dawn it represents the king of cups as a king of fire fire in his water of his cup which is obviously overflowing with love but there's also a sort of secret message hidden in this card to make sure that you are aware of the king of cups ending up being an enemy which is why perhaps we've got the the fact he likes playing games we've also got bridge and sometimes in occultism, we connect with another soul through a bridge. So this could be a past connection of yours, which marries really into this whole, I understand you are completely perfect and I am a fucking idiot for not seeing it. I do see it. So that really goes in well with that. So that could be a past connection. It could be that you are finding the emotions and feelings of a man at the moment difficult to read. Here we've got the King of Swords. So this is an, oh, this is another man um, in your future. Okay, so the King of Swords normally works in some sort of government administration, some sort of law. He is associated with that. The, the suit of swords is associated with administration, duties, offices, that kind of thing. The King of Swords, in terms of he's not very lovey-dovey he is in my experience he is associated with being rather an emotional he's quite a cold man and having said that though he's very good in relationships because he is true and what i'm saying here is i'm pulling the king and queen which complement each other however 
If you do have a love interest that you've asked about or you are wondering about, then there's little emotions. The King of Swords, he can love intensely, intensely, but he doesn't want to make certain choices and he is worried about commitment. But when he does love, he loves, he loves with so much passion. And these two together, they're great in career roles. It could be a boss, for example, if you are, you know, if you're a partner, it, this could represent your boss in the future. And we also have, we're in this together. So this is definitely a romantic connection for you, my lovely. It's definitely a romantic connection or we're in this together at work. It's teamwork. It's building up together. Okay, so we've now got the Empress. So the Empress is your action card. And what this basically means is that as an action, it means that we need to make a final choice on a matter and that you've been acting passively. You've been out of in the cold and acting passively because we've got the penguin as the charm associated with the empress. You're feeling a bit cold and this could be maybe because of this connection here. So this is basically about you being showing love and care, love and care for the people and the general rule of the Empress in an advice position is that we need to understand the masculine energy that comes into our lives and we need to nurture the leadership and be a leader in life. If we think about the Emperor, which is obviously the partner of the Empress, in a tarot reading the Emperor commands respect and the woman on the other hand, this is her, she nurtures from within and this is also about the sexual relationship that perhaps you have. It indicates that you need to receive things from outside. In a more classical role, the Empress is all about relationships. It's taking on a caring side. It's taking things to heart. It means that there's going to be some new exciting experiences but to make sure that you do not be closed off and you don't become cold like, you know, the, 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 you don't become cold like the swords that we've seen before. So this is a fantastic card to get for advice. It means just be nurturing, just be caring, just nurture the relationships that you have and take care of people, take care of your children if you're a mother or a father. It's a very nurturing card. So it's telling you to be nurturing and don't be cold. It's very hard to sometimes be nurturing if people aren't treating us the way we feel fit. But it's telling you to be nurture. It tells you to be to nurture. So here we've got the Wheel of Fortune. This is very interesting. This is in your current. Again, we've got the teddy bear. Wheel of Fortune to me and the teddy bear combined from my spiritual perspective means that you need a cuddle. There's been things that have been out of control. Events have happened. Events are spinning out of control. And there might have been some emotional upheavals. And this is very sits very well with the moon charm that I got here. Things have been dark. Things have been light. You need to hit your target. You need to hit your golf board. So that could be literal. But you need a cuddle. You need a cuddle from your bears. You need a bear hug. Because things have been up, things have been down, nothing has been static. And it, it kind of has felt a little bit out of control. Like the wheel is spinning, you don't know where it's going to land, you don't know what the future is going to hold. Things standing in the way. We've got the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles indicates a possible affair, a lover. It can signify, I've also got the name uh, Jonathan, I've got the name Jeffrey, Jeff, I've got the name Thomas, I've got the name Tyler, Jesse, Gregory, uh, I've got the name, uh, let's see, my mind, I've got the name Heather, Megan, Amy. These are people that you could have even been to school with, it's just, it's just to grasp a connection. I've got Nicole. I've got Stephanie, I've got Debbie, I've got Melissa, I've got Sharon, I've got Lauren, I've got Evelyn, I've got Isabella. 
Don't know if any of those names mean anything. Ryan, Nicholas, Nicola. Um, anyway, okay, spirit. Okay, James. I have here the bird and the five of pentacles. Okay, so the five of pentacles means this is your standing in the way here. Money is a problem. You need to think about how you're going to make money more. You want to make more money. It also indicates possibly an affair. It could indicate cheating on a lover. It could indicate, I'm not necessarily saying you, maybe people around you. This is not directed at you. This is just generally. It means that you want to go inside. You want to go inside um, in terms of the comfort inside, but you're outside. So if you think about a snowy day, you're walking outside, it's snowy, you just want to get inside the house. That's how you're feeling at the minute. You just want to get inside some comfort. And at the moment, you're not feeling it. And you want to be free as a bird. Maybe, maybe you're thinking about giving up your job and doing something else in your life. So, in a nutshell. Okay, so finally we have... We have the beautiful star and we have the very heavy this is so heavy very heavy silver solid silver teapot this is from an ancient property in England it's a manor home actually um, it was handed down from generations to generations and what this signifies to me is that you have it all you have the teapot of love you have the teapot of connection you have the happiness and everything in your life is going to start to turn for the better. Okay, so when grouped with the star card, it can suggest to me that there's going to be renewed hope. And this is a fantastic, if you actually look at that, wow, she's holding jugs and look what I've pulled. Now, that's spirit talking, that is. Okay, so we've now got this star and the star card signifies renewed power. It signifies strength in your relationships. It means that you are blessed. It means that the universe is going to start to form positive aspects around yourself. It indicates that you will be fulfilled and you just need courage courage to do what you see fit and when you have this card when the star card comes in my readings it's a message to you it's a message to you that you must have hope hope that the universe will bless you and help you manifest what you want and bring you what you need the star also signifies that despite the fact that you had this sort of difficulty around this relationship and with these people that there's hope in terms of you're going to discover yourself better you're going to have the cup you're going to have a cup of tea full of all that hope and all that optimism and all that happiness the star card is probably one of the most blessed cards to pull it means that you're going to have faith faith in the future faith in the universe to actually make things happen so that is a fantastic card to draw for your future okay so i hope that resonated let me pull an angel card for you right now so woo, woo, we had a few fall out then okay let me just pop this well actually we've got quite a lot so i'm just going to take one of these can I pull an angel card, please, for my viewer listening right now? Beauty. The outer world is a reflection of your inner. So focus on the beauty within yourself. Your good qualities, your kindness, your gifts and talents. Remember that whatever you give attention to increases and grows. Everyone has some beauty in their soul. So seek it in others. Remind them of their qualities and you will illuminate them. Surround yourself with things and people with a beautiful vibration, for we are all influenced by that which is around us. As you tune more and more into the incredible wonder of yourself, others and the planet, 
your resonance becomes that of beauty. Others will perceive the radiance of your soul and be touched by it. So what a beautiful angel card to draw, my lovely. Okay, I'm going to pop that up there because I love that card. What does the future hold for my viewer? Good news is coming within a week or so. So that's really positive for you. Okay, I'm just going to get my tiles. Now, this box is very ancient. My Aunt Florence actually um, developed this box. She sewed it. All the stitches, a very famous medium, Victorian times, in London. So, I'm asking my spirit guide medium higher sister God. please let me draw some words for my viewer about this reading this general reading oh we've got some numbers can you see that okay right let me just move that up let's just pop these cards away get some Clear some space. Let's pop those charms over there. Let's pop those there because they're significant. Right, we've got an X. We've got a B. We've got a V. We've got another B. We've got an O. We've got an S. We've got a T, we've got an F. We've got a C, we've got a U. Ooh! We've got a one that's running away. We've got a W. There's your cards. We've got a few numbers here. We've got a three. We've got an eight, we've got a four, and we've got a three. So those could be birthdays, they could be ages, they could be registration numbers, door numbers. They might be significant, those numbers, to you, okay? So let's see what oh, we've got box do you feel that you are in a box at the moment do you feel you need is there a box have you had a box today have you seen a fox foxes are very sly remember so and there might have been somebody that crossed you in some way that's why we've got fox Let's see what other words I can make of this. Hmm. Okay, have a look at initials as well. Is your initials in here or any um, words for your name? Unfortunately, if you've been a bit, and this might go very well with this. Where is he? Uh, let's just, aha. Okay, so we've got sob. So, so we have sob here and also the words that are coming out that I can see is you need to have focus. Again, this fits very well into your course of action, which was the Empress. So... You need to have focus in life. Maybe you've gone off target. You've not thought about the goals that you have in life. You need to have pure focus. Oh, I also see wolves. Remember that wolves tear us up. But wolves are very clever. Um, there we go. Wolf. Wolf. A wolf. Okay, think about the wolf, the fairy tales of the wolf. You know, they, they set out to destroy us, didn't they? They set out to be sneaky. 
a wolf. Do you remember Little Red Riding Hood when he dressed up in uh, wolf's clothing? This could be this connection here that maybe they're dressed up as something else, especially when we had the games, playing games, being a wolf, trying to, you know, manipulate. Wolves are very, in fairy tales, they're manipulative, aren't they? And we got, you know, the, the, the king of cups is a, a very manipulative person, very, you know, a man that manipulates. So just beware of that, especially, you know, work context. Um. I don't know if any of your bulbs have gone recently, but we've got bulbs. Maybe you're planting bulbs, bulbs, light bulbs. Maybe um, you've been in the garden, you've planted bulbs. Maybe that resonates. Maybe you've got some in the cupboard. Um, let me see. Cobs, cobwebs. Have you got any cobwebs in your house? Have you eaten corn on the cob? Um, have you joined any clubs recently? Does that resonate with you, clubs? Any clubs that you've been joining? Or you're a member of a club, perhaps? We've also got Bolt. Do you use, have you used a Bolt? Also think of Bolt of Lightning. Bolt, maybe a storm, maybe an emotional storm, a Bolt of Lightning due to an emotional storm, which could tie very well into you need to be cuddled because something has hit you. A bolt of lightning has hit you. Um, have you been? Have you been bowling? Bowls. Also washing up bowls. Is that significant to you, my lovely? And a uh, locust. Now locusts, as animal totems, they all. I don't know if you've ever actually seen a locust. I went on holiday to um, Lanzarote, actually. I'm not sure if you know of Lanzarote. It's the Canary Islands. And there was just so many locusts. They all came down. And there was just millions and millions of them. So locusts to me means lots and lots and lots of people. You're going to go to a crowded area, perhaps. Or maybe you we work in a crowded city. Locusts. Uh, can I see anything else? We've got owl. Very wise. You need to follow the owl. Follow the wise owl. Follow your intuition. That's the same to me. We also have lust. And it's interesting here that we have, you know, we have, we have a, a, a woman and two men. Well, actually, no, we have the empress. So in terms of people in card deck came out we have a lot of um a lot of people here don't we two women two men so we've got lust so there's quite a lot of lust in your life maybe you lust somebody maybe you lust someone that from the past or somebody that you can't have for whatever reason we've also got cult we've got cult here member of a cult we've got cult there and we've got Scout, if you have any children. We've got Scout, Scouting. We've got Scouts, which I think is a children's group. It definitely is in the UK. Scout is a child's group, but it could be that you're scouting to understand things better about a situation. And what else can I make of this? We've actually got quite a lot, haven't we, out of this? We've got loft. Is there anything going on in your loft at the moment? Is there anything going on up there? Do you need to get something down from the loft? Is that significant to you, my lovely? And I'm going to end it on love. I love you, my viewer, and you are loved. Look at all these people. You are loved by many people. Love. And I'm going to end it on love. So please, if you enjoyed that, please, if you've got any readings you'd love me to do, please pop that in the comments. This reading was by request from a reader of Auntie Flo. I get requests every day for readings and I will try and cover all of them. 
So please request in the comments any readings that you'd like me to do. And I do hope that resonates with you, my lovely. And God bless. Take care. Bye bye.